Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and welcome to the cutting room floor. This is episode number 20. I can't believe it. Uh, and here we are, returning to the abandoned meat factory, and uh, with me tonight for this commentary is the producer, Will Kropinski. Hello, everybody. You can follow Will on Twitter at Zombie Trill. Where did that name come from? Um, well, Trill came from when I was, uh, I think, uh, 10 years old or something. That was my, I was my rap name, De Trill. <laughs> okay, let's just, uh, let's just go into the video. Uh, uh, let's just go right in here. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> so we went back we were actually here um we met the baltimore sun uh they were doing pictures of me uh for a feature that they're doing which uh when it comes out i'll post it on my facebook page if you're not following me on facebook it's facebook.com slash this is dan bell our plan was to go down these steps yeah into the basement however we were unable to do that now we went tonight as well yes so we we finished touring the entire place next week's video will be our final jaunt through the meat factory not going back in this place we're not going back ever again (laughs) i say that with much pleasure Yes, very much pleasure. Never stepping foot in that <laughs> building ever again. It's the worst place imaginable. Um, my regret about this video is that goddamn auto slow shutter button that I did not know it was on because I wasn't paying attention. I was so nerve wracked about going in here again. We, it was we were with the Baltimore Sun for like what two. We were with them for, for a good amount of time, yeah. yeah. So it was it was the reporter and a um, photographer, and you know we were having a good time. We were talking and yeah, everything was great. We were in a good mood, doing follow up questions and all this kind of stuff. And then uh, then we went inside. <laughs> everything <laughs> and, but, changed. Yeah, everything <laughs> just went down the toilet. Our moods <laughs> immediately changed. This is really creepy here with the yeah the spider webs. Spider webs. Ugh. Can you just see like a giant spider like crawling over the pile of clothes to attack and eat us or something? I would have been running out that door screaming. Anyway, so uh, some people, not a lot of people, but have noticed that there's some sort of lag in the picture. And that is from that stupid auto slow shutter button that is kind of buried in the menu of my camera that I... I'm, I'm still getting used to the new camera, so there are some differences between the old camera and this camera and usually i prepare everything before i leave so i get all the settings right and everything and i double check to make sure everything's good so when i get to the location i just turn the camera on and i'm filming and i don't have to worry about anything this night i didn't do that i screwed up put it on a different frame rate because i thought if i had more it just it was a disaster now the scenes the shots that don't have the slow shutter on look fine Mm -hmm. but the shots that where it does come on look terrible so i'm not too proud of it but the video is it was so good i didn't want to scrap it because yeah just seeing all this stuff right Uh, and oh my gosh it's coming up but the guy the twitter thing uh, so a guy on twitter um oh man what was his name damn it i can't remember his name i'm sorry i'm gonna look it up right now anyway um a guy on Twitter pointed out, a guy named Nervous Jared, pointed out something in the video. And it's coming up here in just a second. But um, we just saw it. <laughs> it really freaked us out. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it totally, like, freaked us out. Like, it's coming up here. But look at all that collapse ceiling. Yeah, tonight I was very worried about yeah, the ceiling collapse. Tonight on us. was awful. It was just every room we went into terrible. So anyway, I found out a little bit more information about this place. Um, so a clothes bundling business was in here. 
uh, before the 2006 fire or arson uh, happened here it was a huge fire burned most of the place down I mean except for the structure but burned a lot of the place out now okay here is coming up where this creepy part is when we were in here this night and even tonight we keep hearing things like people talking and stuff like that Mm -hmm. so anyway look at this right here notice this basketball and look at the bottom it was sitting in water and now it's up up on its side (laughs) so somebody (sighs) was going went into this room i don't know who would yeah who would would do that i mean i i even said i'm not going in there because the water's too deep somebody kicked that ball or moved it or something within just a few minutes of us being in that room they were probably running out of that that is the creepiest shit i have i mean i can't i i don't even know what to say when when we saw that we were just like I was like, what it is gives it? you it, my stomach felt weird after, <laughs> after seeing that. <laughs> I was like the guy nervous Jared. If you want to check him out, it's at 12 J Rutherford. He said, did you notice the orange ball in your return to the meat factory? Five thirty in. Think about it for a bit. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> it didn't take me, uh, but a moment I saw it. I said, Oh my God, the ball, somebody moved it because oh the water would have dried up. Yeah. But that room, why would you go? That room was terrible. That's the worst room. That's the steam room. Yeah. The worst room in the whole place. I, and so, tonight, we... I... To, okay, so tonight... Well, I don't want to give it away. Okay. Right. Yeah, we want to... Let's we'll save it for next week. But Friday next week, uh, uh, the the final... The final chapter. Chapter of the meat <laughs> factory. Um, You'll see what we're talking about. Just unnerving, horrible wretched place mm-hmm. i i don't even there's no other way to really describe it. it 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 is the most miserable horrible place i've ever been just looking scary as can be as a matter of fact this shot coming up scared the shit out of me when i saw that fucking, uh, that damn raccoon right I didn't there know what the hell it was i just, just heard see, you go it would have been so much better if it weren't on slow shutter because mm-hmm. the camera really would have shook and that it doesn't look like the camera truck. I jumped like five feet in the air when I saw that <laughs> raccoon. I thought Dan S- found a dead body. <laughs> it scared the shit out of well, me. Well, he kind of did. But. but that thing was frozen solid. See that injury on its leg? It was probably hit by a car. Because mm-hmm. the road is right there. Probably ran in here to die. What a horrible place to We were to thinking die. that tonight. I was like, I don't want to die in a place like this. Oh, my God. The thing with this place is, and and we're going to get into the building a little bit deeper here in a minute. Uh, it is, I mean, there is not a place that I have been anywhere that has come close to the terror that this place causes in my, <laughs> you saw me tonight. I was, yeah just freaked out i was completely freaking out like i was like to a point where i'm like looking around real fast like oh my gosh um it was awful look at that shot with that that goddamn slow shutter damn slow shutter i'll never forgive myself for for (laughs) for, can you imagine no if this was like a real job i mean if i I got hired to be a cameraman for the night and this happened I mean, I would be out of it. I, they would kill me. It's true. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, at least you have it turned off now. <laughs> You're supposed to be checking for these things. I'm You're sorry. You're the fucking I, I producer. Missed it. I missed it. Why aren't you doing your job, Will? Because <laughs> you're not paying me, Dan. <laughs> yeah, you don't get paid anything. <laughs> here's a pizza. Yeah, here's a slice of pizza. <laughs> get out. <laughs> Come be terrified with me in this building. <laughs> So here's Will talking. Yes. Being a whiny little bitch. Whiny producer. Were we more scared? That I was definitely more scared tonight than I was this time. Yeah. Yeah. I think tonight this was the worst. It just it just got worse and worse in each trip. I thought it's so funny that the 
so, you know, the, the reporter and the <laughs> the photojournalist photographer was with us. Two women. Two women. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, oh, yeah, we're it's all cool. Like, we weren't scared. As soon as they left, we were terrified. Oh, yeah. Oh, someone's in here. Something's happened. But this night, I am... Th- tonight, we were in there. I'm thoroughly convinced that we were in trouble. So, you guys will see why next Friday. We don't want to give it away. Don't give it away. No. Yeah. It's good when horrible stuff happens. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always so happy when we almost get robbed or killed. Like, oh, That's I think a, I hear somebody. It'll be good yeah, for the video. It, oh, I hear someone. Just turn the lights out and sit here. <laughs> <laughs> Are they a few feet away? <laughs> <laughs> um, this building, uh, the fire was in 2006. It was arson. Uh, a neighbor near here down the street saw flames coming out of one of the windows um, around four o'clock in the morning and saw three boys, I think it said in the Baltimore Sun, running out of the building. Turned into an enormous fire. The smoke could be seen from downtown. They could see it. That's how bad it was. And uh, I think I remember it. You remember it? I think I do. It was 2006. I think... um, I remember a really bad fire. It was a big fire where you saw smoke and I saw smoke when I was uh, in Mount Vernon. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, so it, it probably was that fire. Although there's been a lot of fires. There's a lot of fires. But I, for here. some reason, I think I remember. But imagine this place is filled with smoke, black, oh, yeah. thick black smoke. And seven firefighters were, were seriously injured uh, trying to put out the blaze took a few days for them to finally get the blaze out because um, they have all this cork insulation in the walls. And as soon as the fire gets into the walls and that cork insulation, uh, it's really hard to uh, put it out. So this here, right in here, if you can see past the choppy (laughs) footage, choppy, blurry footage. Um how did I not notice that? Remember, I noticed at the end. Oh yeah, right at the end. At the end, I you said, saw, I said oh, something is. Happening. I said something's wrong. Yeah. I thought it was I the battery. The I do too. I was waiting for a hand to come out of that vent. <laughs> um. So, anyway, w- w- when we were here at this section, and I was waiting there, I really. Um, oh, was this where you stopped me? Yeah. I thought that I heard something out of the... I thought I heard something when we were standing there by the vent, and then here we actually do hear what sounds like... uh, I mean, it sounded like somebody was walking around, Mm -hmm. talking. Which, with that ball, it very well... It could have been. Oh, my God. There very well could be. I kept trying to tell myself, no. Why is it? I I don't understand why we go to all these places. I mean, like the children's asylum. You haven't been there. I went there. I hear people. Don't see anybody. This Mm -hmm. place, same thing. Three times now we've been here and heard voices and stuff. We don't see anybody. Nobody. Who in the hell is going to be hiding out in this place? Yeah. And if they're walking around, we're going to hear them. Yeah, we don't hear any... There's Like, I don't really hear footsteps, it's more voice. I just, yeah, you don't hear, like... It's so weird. I don't know if it's... Maybe it's an atmospheric... Maybe. Maybe it's people on the street, and it's somehow echo it's traveling echo through the building. I don't know, but it's it's a very unnerving situation, to be sure. Yeah. This was horrible here. Oh, right? yeah. I mean, I'm glad the camera was running. I didn't know that something fell down in front of you. It would be great. Oh, you didn't know that? No, you I, just, I just thought oh. that you had hit the light there. It would have been great if you had been ahead of me and it hit you on the <laughs> oh, head. Yeah. That would have been a good video. Um, <laughs> just bleeding. <laughs> One of the things about this building is the ceiling is completely effed. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is like so bad. I love the doors. It's not no, no exit. exit. Yeah. That goddamn right. Um the ceiling there's like thick there's like a thick layer of plaster or cement Mm -hmm. yes and i think just from years of it being wet that it has uh started to um fall in big chunks and you know every room we go into i'm looking up like yeah i don't want to get hit in the head with 
We really need there's, hard hats. Yeah, there's all there's a, all that wire, that steel that's just hanging down from the ceilings. The that is all drop ceiling frame, so that's not that bad. But I'm, I'm talking about walking into it, like if you're not looking. Oh, where walking you're going. into it. Yeah, yeah, I almost did. Well, remember so many when, times when we were in that one side, and I almost walked into that like rebar oh, shit yeah. that was hanging from the ceiling. Uh-huh. I literally almost impaled myself like right there. Yeah, like that. And you gotta keep your eyes peeled in this place. <laughs> I mean, it's really bad. So, coming up here, we go into the the uh, room where you can hear a uh, steam pipe that is still um, still going. Yeah, it's still going. Now, somebody mentioned in the comments on the video um, that there's a company called. Actually, let's look at the comments real quick. Um, There is a company called an active steam delivery company called the Baltimore Thermal Energy Corporation. And so basically you can buy steam from them uh, and they have, uh, you know, they have um, steam pipes all under the city and you can buy steam from them for whatever purpose. Uh, if you're in a restaurant business or whatever, hmm. I guess, I don't know. I don't know. If you want facials, <laughs> you, you, can steam. you can get the steam from the ground. Um, boy, look at that room. That's now we went back in this room, but we were in a different part of the room. Yeah. So in the new video, you'll get to see it a lot more clear, uh, like how it should be there. But <laughs> that's, I think that was my least favorite. Here movie. is where, I was certain that somebody was going to pop out. I heard a man talking. Um, I was certain that somebody was going to pop out. I pulled out my pepper gel. And we didn't see anybody. Nobody. Um, Just thoroughly freaked out for the rest of the time that we were in there. It was awful. Awful. <laughs> But it's so good though, because the videos. <laughs> I mean, who who the who in the hell is going to go in this place and film this? Uh, I don't know anybody that was this stupid. I mean, this I is don't awful. Know why we did this three times? But <laughs> see, look though, look. This is how I see it. This is nobody is seeing this. It's true. You know what I mean? Like nobody is is looking at this or or would ever see this unless we went in and documented it. So there it has worth. Yeah. It is entertaining to watch. It is. Because it's like you can you can picture yourself there, but you don't have to be there. You don't have to be in the... But let me tell you guys, intense is the word. <laughs> Here's another thing. We heard that look, that little bang in the other room there. Oh, yeah. That freaked me out too. <laughs> Probably water dripping, but we were just so on edge in this place. Yeah. But we did tonight. We saw, I would say, out of everything we saw, I would say 90% of it we hadn't seen yet. Yes. It's all, it's yeah. much a lot of new, new so areas. So it's all new areas in the new video. The place is, this place is massive. And we still have only seen. There's 60%. still a lot we haven't seen. Uh, I think most of it's underground. Yeah. But well, we, we just get. cannot figure out how to get down there without. There's, it seems like there's one way to get down there and it's blocked. Right. So I don't know. Uh, you know, we get down there, it's going to be like Chud. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Stern's going to be there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't. Uh, I'm not going back. <laughs> I'm not going back. I should announce a meetup. A meetup here. Be like, hey guys, meet me in the room where all the uh, <laughs> yogurt. Meet me at the yogurt machines. The yogurt machines. <laughs> Noon on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Channel meetup. <laughs> Bring your kids. <laughs> Watch out for the ice yeah. and the things. Be careful of the, the ice. <laughs> Hold on to your children. <laughs> there might be people in here yeah. as well. <laughs> oh my god, that would be funny. Um. Anyway. Uh, we're, I think we're right. Getting close we? to the end. Oh. You know, we're almost there. Um, I'm looking forward for you guys to see the final video in the trilogy. It's going to be very good. Meat factory. Trilogy. The meat factory trilogy. <laughs> um, 
And uh, what um, what are my plans? I'm going on a trip to film a bunch of places. I think I'm leaving this week. Will might come with me. Maybe. If his girlfriend will let him. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, well, there's going to be new videos coming. But next Friday, we're going back. Back to meat. Back to the meat factor. Yes. Bring bring your pork roast. <laughs> By the way, the sprinkles. Oh, the sprinkles. With that, like, black shit in there. Oh, God. What are these it machines doing in this place? Yeah, why are they there? What? There's so <laughs> much <laughs> random shit in this building. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I like the way I end this. It's like a big... It's like a cliffhanger. Dude. Uh, <laughs> a a yogurt cliffhanger. A yogurt cliffhanger. Will we find the? We yogurt? got the dairy. We got the meat. <laughs> oh my god! So anyway, you guys, um, thank you all for watching. And uh, Will, do you have anything to add? Do I have anything to add? Um, you can check out my channel, uh, just uh, YouTube dot com slash Will Krupinski. I got all my videos there, and then Zombie Trill on Twitter and Instagram. K R U P I N S K Y. K Y, yes. Well, there's thank your you. name right there. There you go. There it is. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you very much. We will be back. Well, we have to record the cutting room floor for next week, but we I'm going to be gone. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It looks like you have to go on the trip oh, now. I have to now. <laughs> I really want Will to go on the trip. I'm afraid for my life. Okay? <laughs> He doesn't care at all. (laughs) Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll be back next week. Bye-bye.